dun, 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 dun. She's a maniac, but she always come right back. Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah? I think we can try that eight step. With the music? We'll try it with a bit okay. of the music. Canada's bop icon, oh Sean Des God. Come on. Wow. You okay. know that's your title. I'll take bop icon. I haven't heard that one yet. You haven't heard that one? First time. Well, bop. this is why you're going to get it on the Bee Gees show. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy to have you, you here. Thank you for having me, man. I'm so happy. I can't to believe this is the first time we've met. I know. Yeah. Crazy. Well, it's going to be one of many times. Absolutely. You I know? love it. I love it. I just love the resurgence, the moment that is happening around <sighs> you right now. Like. You feel it? What? I'm, Our entire I'm living team it, feels right? it. I'm living it. So like, I'm not like, I'm feeling it. Obviously yeah. I'm feeling it, but I'm living it. So it's like, how many people are really feeling it? And it feels like a lot of people. Are well, you want to, I feel like, and you tell me, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. The team may, can jump in here, but it's like, it's almost like everybody's getting to relive a special time mm -hmm. in life again. Yeah. Because yeah. like, like I said, I call you the bop icon because like you. Lots of bops. What? <laughs> I've honestly been blessed to just be able to make music that people like. Yeah. I, uh, that's not, how I, not like. Love. Okay. okay. That's how I think of myself. Yeah. Just a guy that made music that people loved and that resonated and that made people feel good. I think that's another reason why all this happening right now is because I think we need stuff in our lives to make us feel good. Yeah. There's so much negativity, especially like, listen, social media is a beast. It's great, but it also has its downsides. It definitely does. Right? So. People just want something to make them feel good. And so like going into working in the studio with anybody I work with, I say, guys, people love Sean Desmond because my music makes them feel good. So we need to do that. Yeah. So. Take me back to the 2000s though, hmm. because I mean, I, f I feel like your star just went like, boom. You think it happened fast, eh? Well, it felt like it, it looked fast. like, I mean, from the outside, right. I mean, everything is always different from the mm. outside compared to the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like as a viewer, as a listener, yeah. it was like... Came out of nowhere. What? Yeah. Um, so my... But well deserved though. All my you. Portuguese friends like, yo, they, yo, they, so this is you what are I'm the king go, of Portugal. This is what I'm going to go into. <laughs> so my career started at a very early age. Yeah. Maybe some people don't know. I started singing in Portuguese yeah. and made five Portuguese albums before any of this. <laughs> Yeah, a long time. And then mm -hmm. I was like 16 years old and I'm like, I've hit this ceiling mm -hmm. of how far I can go doing this. Right. So I need to, I want to take it to the next level. How mm -hmm. do you take it to the next level? I got to sing in English. Right. So my dad got me this little studio set up, uh, put it in my bedroom, 16 years old, started writing, producing music and sending cassette tapes to record labels. Keep in mind, this is like- That was back in the day. Yeah, 2000, like 1998, 2000. And Half then, of our viewers are gonna be like, cassette tapes. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> um, finally, I get a phone call from BMG Music Canada. Yeah. Hey, we got your demo tape. Yeah. We love it, we love to meet you. I hung up the phone, because I thought it was one of my friends playing a joke. For real? Yeah, so they're like, call back, and they're like, Sean, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is so-and-so from BMG Canada. Yeah. I'm like, come on. They're like, this is not a joke. Can you come to our office tomorrow at 1 p.m.? Sure, I'm like, okay. I go down there, this is like 2000, yeah. and they offered me a deal. Mm -hmm. So I did my deal. So we recorded for like two years before anything came out. Yeah. Um, so there you go, right, right there, just to show you, two years of recording music mm -hmm. before it sees the light of day. That's crazy. Um, and then Get Ready comes out. Mm. And it goes, because you never know, right? Like, here's this new guy, white kid, doing yeah. urban music, baggy clothes, go, uh, diamond chain. Yeah and people embraced it. Did and you think it was gonna be that track? No. Um, I'm lying. I didn't, I knew it was gonna be that track. Yeah. But then Shook comes out mm. and blows that one out of the water. Yeah. Shook was, Girl, it's got me right? I love that. So yeah, Shook happens. And then what happened with Shook, with Get Ready, mm -hmm. we didn't really get Quebec. Right. Quebec is its own world, if everybody knows. It really is. It like is. It's 100%. <laughs> Shook comes out and yeah. we get Quebec on top of the rest of Canada mm -hmm. and explodes. And I never forget one time I was at Yorkdale Mall, mm -hmm. <clears throat> walking through the mall, me, my security, and all of a sudden, this massive gang of people following me and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Jeez. So it comes to the point that we go into Athletes World, they yeah. sh close the doors, they're like, you need to leave. There's like a thousand people following you around the mall. We're not set up for this right now you need to go. I'm like, but I haven't even bought anything yet. Yeah. Like I'm, I need to buy something. They're like, 
So they got me out the back door because mm. there's no security. There's no, they weren't set up for that type of crowd yeah. in one specific spot. So that was, that's a moment that lives with me that I'll never forget. Like, holy, this is crazy. That's what it hit you. Yeah. You're such a humble guy though. I like to think of myself as a humble person. You seem I, like you, you don't even know how to respond to that. No, I don't because people, t people actually tell me I'm too humble, which I don't I, think that's, that's a thing. I mean, it is a little bit of a thing. I don't know. I just, again, I was, I never thought of myself of, oh, in 20 years, I'm going to be this icon mm -hmm. and I'm going to inspire artists who are coming after. I was just yeah. like a 20 year old kid mm -hmm. making music, having the time of his life. 2005 comes around. Let's go comes out. Red yeah, hair yeah. comes out. 2010, shiver, electric, night like this. <laughs> 2012, nobody does it like you. Dum da dum. You and had the clubs in a chokehold. <laughs> like literally. That's a new ter that's another new term I learned on TikTok. You didn't know about that? Yo, I just yo, Sean Desmond got me in a chokehold. I'm like, <laughs> is that bad or is that good? That's a good thing. Oh man. That's it. a good thing. I learned that and I learned Sean Desmond is finally getting his flowers. Yeah. I didn't know. I was like, I ain't getting no flowers. <laughs> There's nothing at my house. So looking back, I mean that decade, right? That decade of like releasing like literally like four albums, right? Like, how do you feel looking back now or even potentially in that moment that the industry was treating you? Like the fact that you're getting your flowers now, I mean, again, from the outside, it, it felt like, man, this guy was getting all the flowers and he deserved all the flowers. Right. No, I mean, I was blessed. The industry treated me good. Like mm -hmm. I was, Videos were being played on TV. Yeah. Songs were getting played on the radio. I was touring, mm -hmm. um, so it was good. It didn't. It didn't come till like a little bit later in like 2015, yeah. when I let people influence what I was doing musically, what and do I shouldn't that? have did that. But I mean, like, Sean, we think you need to go in this direction, mm. and I should have been like, yeah, but like, I don't know. I've kind of done my own thing this whole time. I go with my gut. On what direction all this. were they trying to push? Like you just in? edgy. Okay. We want to, we want you should be more edgy. Like punk rock edgy? Not, no, just like, I don't even know what it means, really. Yeah. Because I'm very, people always, they see me as this nice guy. And I'm, yeah. You gotta be a little more edgy. Yeah. All right, let's try being a little more edgy. It doesn't work. And then, you know, record labels just like, yeah, it didn't work. You know what, we're going a new direction. We're not going to do another record with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's 2015. Devastating. Yeah. Because... I should have just went with my gut mm -hmm. and did what I always did. But, you know, sometimes you live and you learn, man. Mm -hmm. You live and you learn. Really. You know what's so interesting? We've had many bop icons on the show. Like we had Fifi Dobson just yeah. last week. Yeah. We had Julie Black. Yeah. And one thing that kind of crossed my mind was like, how come many of you guys all made a record together? Mm. I toured with Fifi. Um, I did tell her one time I was going to jump on stage and do Ghost with her. At a show, and she's like, ah, ha, ha. I didn't. I don't think she really wanted me to do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fifi, you should have made it happen. Uh, that would have been crazy. She's sweet. She's sweet. Um, we and I know it. she has a new record out. Right, yeah. it came out actually the same day as Maniac, I believe. Um, so that's awesome. So, do you think you guys would potentially like make a track together? Like, could we see a track with you and Julie? Could we see a track with you and Fifi? Thing is, it has to happen. You and Keisha it has to ha happen organically. Yeah. You don't want to force things to happen because mm -hmm. nothing good comes of forcing a situation. Right. So listen, I'm open to everything. I, I don't, I never count anything out. If it feels right mm -hmm. and it feels right in the moment, absolutely. Why not? Okay. Yeah. You know, do you have a favorite track from like the 2000s? Mm -hmm. Like from those albums? My own albums? Yes. Oh man. From um, your own albums. Because you also had the first like Toronto track, like Anthem. Did I though? I would say that was the first Toronto Because I feel Toronto like Northern, anthem. well Northern Touch was like a Canadian anthem, I believe. Um, I mean, I love all my records for different reasons, but like more like towards the, like the newer, like Shiver, I mm -hmm. really love Shiver. Yeah. Night Like This, special song to me as well. But then like Shook, I love, like they're all, they're all my kids, man. These are yeah. my children. How can I pick one over the other? Why is a night like this so special to you? Um, it was kind of like when we put, when we went with a night like this, people were like, oh, we don't think this song's going to work. I'm like, trust me, it's going to work. Mm. People are going to love this song. And they loved it. So I feel like it's special because, I, again, I went with what I felt. I yeah. went with the feeling in my gut and it, and it happened to work. And it was one of my biggest, it's been one of my biggest songs to date, yeah. you know? So I don't know. I just, 
It feels good. No one can bring us down. Listen, we all were at the concert, the OVO concert. Were you there? Yes. Okay. Imani was there. Okay. We have video. We, we we reported on it. It was like iconic to see like all the North Stars, as they say, yeah. <laughs> come together. Yeah. yeah. That for you, I know, was a special moment. Mm -hmm. It was. I did not think that night was going to have the impact on my life that mm -hmm. it did. Um, you know, I got a phone call from starting from scratch, who's a yeah. good friend of mine, and was like, hey, Drake wants you to come do this show. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Tell, tell homie I'm in. Yeah. Um, and then so I start doing press around the show, and I kept telling people, I'm like, I'm going to blow the roof off that place. They have no idea. And not saying this to be conceited, yeah. to be ignorant, it's not me, but I made it my mission. Mm -hmm. I manifested that I was gonna kill it that night. So it comes, what's great is that I got, I got to share that with my kids yeah. and my wife, right? And we get into the green room, Jake sees me, calls me over, mm -hmm. and I'm like my kids, I'm like, hey, we're gonna go talk to Drake now. Please don't embarrass me. I'll ask him, <laughs> I know you guys want a picture, yeah. super bad, daddy will ask him. So, you know, we go up, we start chatting, and he was so kind, so gracious to my children, to myself, mm -hmm. to my wife. Um, and then I'm, I'm on stage, and I'm performing, and I can see him in the corner of my eye, yeah. he's on the balcony, and he's banging on the wall. Song's changing, he's going crazy, and I'm like, wow, okay. This Everybody is, was going this crazy. This is cool, yeah, it was great. Um, I come off stage, and I head up to the green room, super packed. Yeah. I'm like, nah, man, I can't be in here right now. Let me just head into that hallway mm -hmm. that we're hanging out in. That's the hallway from the balcony that Drake was uh, hanging out. He comes out, he pulls me aside, yeah. pulls me to the corner. He's like, yo, bro, you're different, eh, Sean Desmond? Mm. I said, what? Yeah. He's like, you're different, bro. I'm like, Drake, I don't know what that means. Mm. He's like, did you hear them? Did you see them? Like. Your music, even the older stuff, feels new. And if, like, it's living on forever. What, like, what's happening? What are you doing? And I'm like, dude, I'm just, I lost the passion. Like, I feel like I love the music. I hate the business. S Drake's like, Scra scratch that, squash all that. Sean Desmond needs to make music again now. So, like, when one of the biggest, if not the biggest artists in the world tells you that, you may need to sit, you know, think about it because yeah. I was coming to terms with I may never make music again. How did he lose the passion? From what happened to me, man. The, it's like people chew you, chew you up and spit you out. Mm. Like when you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, they just give up on you. I felt like the music business let me down. They, they gave up on me. So I was like, okay, then I'm done. My wife got ill mm -hmm. in 2015. So dealing with that, I had to just become or just be a devoted and dedicated husband and father. And that's what I, that's what I did. And we see that, man. Like when we look at your social media, we see how much you love your daughter. Mm. You brought her up on stage today. Yeah. Bro, right? You better watch out. She can dance. <laughs> she's my TikTok <laughs> dancing partner. Yeah. She steals the show. Yeah, I was about to say, she's about to be a queen. And even all the comments, she, st she stole the show again. You're a daughter. I'm like, I'm gonna stop doing these videos then. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun with her. Yeah. Do you like being a father? A family guy? It is one of the best things ever. Like, mm -hmm. my kids are my life. And it's amazing getting to share this journey now with them because mm -hmm. they kind of, they're getting to see like what a big deal their dad is yeah. and was. Because um, they didn't get to live through that. They were so young, right? Um, and it's funny, we were driving home that night from OVO and my wife, who is super honest, yeah. um, she turned to me and she said, Sean, babe, I don't think you realize what you did up there tonight. And I was like, really? And she said, yeah. Um, you, like, it wasn't your time in 2015. I know what you've gone through, but like, right now, I feel the universe is on your side. You have to do this. And like, so to get the stamp of approval from her and like Drake telling me I needed to do it, I felt like it was the right time. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So here I am, man. You love performing, eh? Dude, I, the stage is my home. I feel most comfortable on stage. Like, mm -hmm. this being on stage, I love it. And like, it's weird because I was on stage at OVO and I have my in-ears in. Mm -hmm. So I'm really just hearing myself, the music, focusing. And But 
watching the videos after and like hearing how loud that crowd was and singing along with me every song was I could not ask for a better way for that show to have gone. Man, you know what makes me so upset is the fact that somebody stole that from you. Like how the industry can just steal that type of joy. Like it's so rare, rare that you get to meet people who truly love what they do. Yeah. Like literally through and through, like it oozes out of their, 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 their you know, their pores. Yeah. And like just sitting here meeting you, talk with you, like, like I can tell like, man, you, you love artistry. You love what you do. It's not about the money. It's not about the fame. It's about you literally just love making music and performing and make people yeah. feel joy. I really do. I what would you do. say to the industry of those people who, who try to steal that joy? Honestly, I, I really don't want to say anything to them if I'm being honest. I'm going to just let the, the work that I'm doing prove itself. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's just, I, I, I hold no grudge. Mm -hmm. And because I just want positive things in my life right now. Yeah. And I feel like talking about that stuff kind of brings like a negative energy. And I just want positive stuff. Send me the good vibes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm back. Yeah, I am yeah. back, man. And... It's funny because I get all these comments and stuff in, on my social media where fans are like, we're so happy you're back. Don't leave us again. Like numerous people saying like, don't leave us again. <laughs> like you guys realize how? I guess I made an impact on people's lives or, or people like me, people love, I don't know. But like reading those comments like that, it just, it means the world. I, Brandon, I'm, I'm a mess, okay? I cry every single day mm -hmm. from just talking to people. Like, it's crazy because now with everything, I mean, you talked about it. I'm at the grocery store and I'm ha I have people coming to me. I'm at the gym and just like, hey man, such a big fan. So happy you're back. We love Maniac. We love this new song. Keep doing it, man. Don't like, just keep doing it. No better feeling other than my family being there with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love the fact that your, you know, your wife is your biggest cheerleader, my guy. She really the is, The fact man. that she could spark that, you know, yeah. and bring you there and, and cheer you on in that way. Yeah. Not a lot of people have partners like nope, that. Absolutely not. And the thing is, like, she comes, she's a dancer. I met her dance, like, at dance school, so she also understands. She, tra she traveled into it. Yeah. Um, for months at a time so she gets it uh, but at the end of the day we're life partners and um, I, I couldn't do it without her because I'm away obviously a lot my kids need somebody mm -hmm. she's there and she holds down the fort and then when she needs me to hold down the fort I hold down the fort for her you know what I'm saying yeah. so you know one of the big questions that we got from a lot of people what's your zodiac say Capricorn mm. Not that I know what that means. I just know I'm. I don't know player. either, but I asked it for the people. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Maniac, mm -hmm. you're about to put the whole TikTok on a, on a, in a chokehold. Hold on, let me say the TikTok. Let me rephrase that question. You're about to put all a TikTok in a chokehold with Maniac. We got a dance <sighs> challenge going on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to post an official video. Yeah. We'll probably do it with me and my daughter. Yeah. Doing the whole thing. But. The response, man, has been, I'm back on the radio, man. Yeah. I had the second biggest song to be added at Top 40 Radio this week, just behind Rihanna. So for me, for not putting out music for so long, I'll take that. And I just want to continue making music that people like, mm -hmm. that's catchy, makes them feel good, makes them dance. That's I just want that. I want to make people feel something. When people talk about Sean Desmond one day when all this is done, yeah. not only do I want them to remember me for the music I made, but how I made them feel in an encounter, yeah. in a song lyric. Um, I got them through a hard time in their life. That's what I want. I want people to say, yeah, I love Sean Desmond's music, but man, that guy was a good dude. So you know we love a little exclusive on the show. Are we getting an album from you? So... Oh, we're gonna oh, man. drum roll. Yeah, I know. <laughs> drum roll. There will, PR, I know. I'm trying will, to get an exclusive. <laughs> there will definitely, there will definitely be an EP coming in the summertime. Okay. I'm working on it right now. I've just been swamped 
with press these yeah. last two weeks and, and doing stuff. I'm actually going to the studio tomorrow. It's my first day like in two weeks to d do some work on some stuff. Um, but yeah, but even like, there's a while till summer. There's gonna be new, there's gonna be yeah. singles coming out before then. Any but, collabs that we should know about potentially? Um, I mean, maybe, there's nothing like, I'm, I'm being completely honest, yeah. nothing in the works right now, but like, I wouldn't count it out and I'm yeah. manifesting, I'm putting it in the universe, me and Drizzy, like, I think it would be epic. But listen, he's Drake, dude. He's the biggest artist in the world. I get it. Yeah. It's gotta make sense for him. It's gotta make sense for me. Again, it's gotta happen organically. He is super supportive, dude. Yeah. Like, can I tell you, like I did a show at the Rivoli last week, which was the launch of Maniac, mm -hmm. the launch of kind of my comeback. And he messaged me the next day and was like, dude, I saw all the press you're doing, all the interviews. He's like, I'm glad you heard me that night at OVO. You didn't just get on that stage, do your thing, leave and not take advantage of everything that's going on. He's like, man, I'm away. It's my birthday this weekend. But if I was in Toronto, I would have I would have pulled up to the Rivoli and showed you love that night, Damn. man. Yeah. That's amazing. It's great. Listen, I'll take that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Sean, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. You know, I do gotta say, I used to be a little dancer. Oh shoot. My... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dancer. <laughs> Not as good as you, right. but I know that obviously there's a dance challenge that's yes. happening around yes. Maniac. Now, I've kind of lost a little bit of my two-step, okay. trying to bring it back just a touch. Okay. Could you potentially just help me learn the dance? Let's go. That's easy, man. Yeah? Yeah, and it's not hard. Okay. Let's clear this <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna see if I can just drop a little two-step. <laughs> What we're doing is, yeah. we're just step, 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 step. Okay. Okay. Man, you really gotta we're be just loose with bah, the waist, eh? Bah, bah, bah. Yes. All right. Okay? All right. But there's there's hands to that too. Damn. Okay. So first, <laughs> we're doing. Let's do from the top. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom, boom, ba. She's a maniac. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. And now with you that. You more dance hall reggae, so we, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Josh. I got all that. Come on. All right. So, boom, boom. She always come right back. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I got Four that times. move. That's, no, no. Four ah, times. I got right? that move, bro. I got that move. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Sorry. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Professor Shaw. I'll be the judge of that. Let's go for the top. Ready? Five, yeah. six, seven, eight. Dun, 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 dun. She's a maniac, but she always come right back. Ay, ay, ay. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah? I think we can try that eight step. With the music? We'll try it with a bit okay. of the music. One, two, three, four. Was it good? You got it? I got yeah. it. Listen, okay. Let me just ask you this. Yes. Totally random. If you would have me. Yeah. If you would. You don't have to Wait, make a you want to be a backup here. dancer? Just for one track. <laughs> one track at a show in Toronto. I would just hop on. You're going to hop on and do that? And you can just send okay. me out. Like literally okay. just be like, BG in, BG out. Yo, Brandon. <laughs> BG in, BG out. Oh my God. <laughs> we can do it. We can make that happen. For real? Yeah, we can make it happen. Why not? Why not? Oh Bring my boy up. Yeah, yeah. Sean? I'm lying. No, I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> nah, man. I'll let you think about it. I'll yeah, yeah. You, you know what? It. Let me marinate on that. Let for it a marinate. Bit. Otherwise, I'll just be in the audience literally just Cheer my best up. life. Just do it out there. Yeah. Okay. I'll just do it. <laughs> Where nobody can see you. No. <laughs> oh, man. Too much. Love you, man. Hey, dude. Wishing you all the best. All the Thank new you. music that comes out. Thank you. Make sure Thank you're you. back here so we can talk about 100%. it, okay? Thank you guys, thank you, respect. Hey BG Squad, thanks so much for checking out our channel and listen to this, we have more great content for you like this video right here and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.